Well, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, friends, ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, and uh, welcome to another episode here on the Life Signatures Radio. This podcast is a daily show, and on this podcast, we talk about purpose, we talk about productivity, and we talk about resilience, and we learn some nuggets here and there on these three pillars that are considered the three pillars of life. Purpose is a must. Nobody is here useless without a purpose. But then that purpose has got to be converted into productivity. If we do things and we consider ourselves productive and they are not contributing into our purpose, probably that is just failure. But then there is a resilience in that we, first of all, are living in a dark and fallen world and then ourselves we are imperfect and so we are going to fail. We are going to face headaches and setbacks and heartaches and heartbreaks and all these things in life. And we need resilience to rise up again and to keep going. That's what life is made up of. We need some mental toughness. We need to know how to be resilient in the moment. So that's what this podcast is all about. You find us in the middle of a series we started two days ago. We're talking about the 19 nuggets, 19 powerful life nuggets from Mike Tyson's interview with Joe Rogan. We shared nugget number one yesterday. Let us today look at nugget number two. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. Yesterday in the episode, even as we were sharing, talking about this first nugget, we said that the lesson we need to learn there is we need to face off our internal fears. The nugget is that internal fear can be very unfounded, can be very debilitating. Internal fear, it holds us back. And the lesson there is we need to face off that internal fear and seek to overcome it at the earliest possible, no matter how long it has held us you realize very late that we've been held for years, decades, decades on end by one fear. It has kept us tethered. It has kept us hemmed in. It has kept us unproductive. It has kept us average at the very best. And we think that the only thing we're doing in life is check off a day and make sure that our debts are paid. But that fear has held us from fulfilling our God-given potential. That internal fear has held us from maximizing our, our talent. We need, if we're going to maximize our potential and if we're going to be as fruitful and as productive as we were intended to be, listen, we'll have to overcome the internal fear. And I'm talking to myself. Nugget number two that I want us to learn today from that interview Nugget number two that I need us to learn today. Listen to this. We need to appreciate the power of starting small. I know I've even done a whole series about this, but we need to appreciate the power of starting small. Looking at Mike Tyson, he said that he was told by his wife in that interview, he told Joe Rogan that his wife told him, you're off shape. Just do some workout. I mean, you look so... You just do 15 minutes. Just, that's all that I ask. That's, that, that, was, that was it. And that 15 minutes is what led to this massive comeback. 
at times we are paralyzed by looking at the finished product you look at the chiseled body of a bodybuilder or someone who has been doing it for years on end not just a bodybuilder but even a colleague just a member of the family they look so lean and we just overwhelmed by what it takes to make it there we look at someone's finances and someone's family someone's relationship with their wife or their children and we so overwhelmed to say these guys are special we can't get there and we want to conquer a mountain faster than it takes to prepare ourselves and so we remain paralyzed in 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 this uh, mode the coming back to the ring for mike tyson was not planned it was not intentional it was it wasn't even analyzed in any way according to iron mike tyson remember we're getting nuggets from him according to mike iron tyson iron mike tyson he found out that at some point he was having weight problems he just said with that i'm having weight problems and when he couldn't fit in his own clothes so his wife asks him despite his fear mentioned above in the previous episode his wife asks him to start working out she encouraged him not to do a pro you know you are a pro in these things and you know what it takes when you're preparing for matches and so on. just take 15 minutes just a small 15 minutes a day that's all i ask and so the ball was set rolling with those 15 minutes and what started out as a 15 minute day workout coalesced into according to mike tyson 2 hours a day through the power of momentum just 2 hours a day he started with 15 minutes and iron mike tyson did it to want to assert himself with working out because he knew what it took he knew what it took that's why he did it want to do it remember the fear however the starting small enabled him to realize something he said i belong here when he got into the working out he said i belong here that's what he told joe rogan i belong here he told himself even when he was being knocked out and being punched by vet- veterans as he restarted his career i belong here so the second lesson that i want us to learn ladies and gentlemen is start small and be consistent with the small don't overanalyze it maybe it is about yourself a physical fitness it's you know what it takes to be physically fit you know uh, the demands there the last time you went out there to jog or to do anything to spruce up your body was maybe months ago and you know it's it takes a beating i mean it takes a beating of the body to get in shape start small maybe one press up <laughs> just start small don't overanalyze and this speaks to all of us if you want to write a book you want to sing a song you want to make a performance you want to record a podcast you want to shake the hands of the president you want to go for an adventure you want to change your marriage you want to change your relationship you want to make things to be better whatever it is you want to accomplish that is grand in your estimation right now just start small in my estimation right now as i'm giving you this advice i'm also giving myself the same advice in my estimation the finished product is it is overwhelming it is this um enchanting in terms of the efforts that are needed to get there it is discouraging actually that's the word I'm, i've been looking for it is discouraging right now to be on the journey to amend your marriage it is discouraging the pain is there the heartache is there the the career that you are on you want to change it it is it's like 
climbing a mountain that you're you're not ready even to begin climbing it is discouraging it is not easy it is difficult it is imposing i'm asking us to restart our lives and i'm not saying that we should be pros tomorrow i'm not saying that your marriage is going to sizzle tomorrow i'm saying that that hug today even if you feel like you shouldn't hug him he doesn't even deserve a hug and i know i don't know the ins and outs of what you're going through i cannot i cannot pretend to know i cannot even impose myself on it i don't know what's going on but i'm saying that in very many aspects of our lives the restart can be so discouraging there is no promise whatsoever in the restart that things are going to get back there to normal there is no guarantee but let me tell you it is to this moment at this moment in time it is the best option that you and i have when it comes to our health a restart is the best option when it comes to our marriage a restart is the best option the worst that we do when we don't we're not restarting the worst that we do is to stay in the process of erosion we stay in that continuum where we are eroding because we are not doing anything to rectify the situation neither are we moving away from the situation altogether we are just held there in this erosion continuum this season this this process where we are wasting away we are content with being average how do we get out of it start small that's what mike tyson started with he started small with a 15 minute a day this is a champion this champion is a guy who used to spend hours on end maybe half days in the gym working out that was his life that was his professional life but all he needed to have a comeback was 15 minutes a day hug your wife if even if you feel absolutely nothing let's just get the feelings out of the way and start small but don't just do it in a day in a blue moon be consistent with that small thing that you've started do it again tomorrow make it a habit i and mike tyson is telling us soon enough you find that you belong here you find that the 15 minutes has become 2 hours you find that that one hug has now become a warm embrace and a kiss and it's something that you don't want to let go you don't want to let go of each other well tomorrow we we'll look at another nugget let me stop there until then bye bye Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh clean and inspiring.